that she had something to get up for. She was up by 6.30, um, six out of seven days during the week and gone from this house um, Monday through Friday until at least three to four o'clock in the afternoon. And then all of a sudden, not to have that, you know, you can just think um, how you would be. If all of a sudden you had nowhere to go and nothing to do and nobody who cared if you were there or not. The CBS job, she took a leave of absence just because we didn't think being in a drugstore during a pandemic was the best place for her. So um, so she was out for three months. And then with McAllister's, we decided for her not to work, but probably they would have decided for her not to work just because as time went on, they didn't have, you know, they were closed and they were only open for takeout and there wouldn't have been much for her to do. And then as far as next move goes, um, they were doing the, the internships when um, the pandemic hit and uh and she helped with that um but then um in the middle of march they were forced to um to shut that down completely we really have taken this time to launch different aspects of that organization that we had always wanted to do so we had always wanted to do a monthly cookie club subscription and we had always wanted to do online sales and shipping. We are finding that we need extra hands to help us get the work done and it made sense to bring in Cheyenne and to bring in Christopher because they have been part of our baking program since it first started in 2007. We knew that they had spent countless hours with us in the kitchen as volunteers, countless hours with us out at the farmer's market. And on Fridays he goes to Hatch to bake, and then Saturdays, you know, not every Saturday, but some Saturdays they have the they do the pop up cookie camper. Uh, we bake different um, recipes for cookies that we want to sell, and then we sell them at a new camper. We make unicorn cookies. We make the oatmeal cream pies. Sometimes we make this like different flavor cookies. Like we made a s'mores cookie. When we do some, I do some notes and I do some signing my stickers and we are getting ready for your, this is our, today was our first cup up for our cookie cake for it. Um, the opportunities are, are narrower, so then when the opportunities are taken away, then it, it's, it's a little bit more impactful because you don't have the things to substitute that somebody else might have. It is certainly, it is a little bit harder uh, than, than it would be for somebody else. Back in March, April timeframe, when there was a whole PPE shortage, um, we diverted a lot of our resources to make masks for those who are on the front lines. And, and her bracelets are made with this elastic. So um, we used that as the ear loops. And then it was nice to know that uh, we were helping in a time of need.